Hi everyone, um, I think I'll do that again. <clears throat> well, uh, hi, hi everyone, I'm just catching me at the end of a uh, quick coffee break here. It's um, the end of April, it's a bit of a damp day uh, today, the boat is under the shelter again, and um, I'm in the middle of preparing the Pathfinder and its trailer to go out on the road for the first time. So what I thought I might do today is a quick video uh, showing the uh, preparation, the road preps, uh, to go out on the road for the very first time. Uh, it's, quite, it's quite exciting, a bit, a bit, a bit nervous actually. So uh, in this video uh, I'm just going to show you the jobs that uh, I've been doing in the last two weeks. That's preparing uh, the last jobs on, on the trailer and now stripping everything down and tying it all together uh, ready to go out on the road and um, hopefully at the end of this video, I don't actually know yet, uh, we might actually go and you know, t tow the boat uh, out onto the road for the, the very first time. So I'm um, going to crack on with it. Oh and have a, have a, have a coffee break as well. <laughs> Starting with the mass because that's what I'm working on at the moment. Uh, as you can see, the the mass is down, obviously. Um, forward, it's uh, resting in the tabernacle, uh, but not using the um, the pivot bolt uh, because if I have the mass in that position, uh, there's too much of it hanging over the back of the boat, and I don't want that amount of overhang. So um, it slid forward, and there's about an equal amount of uh, butt uh, from the tabernacle forward. And then, uh, as we pan down the mast, uh, a small amount uh, hanging over uh, the transom. Uh, this will still need a, a red pennant of some kind, just to show that there is, you know, something over the transom. Uh, but there's a, it, it's kind of equally balanced between uh, the tabernacle and this uh, crutch, which I made for the, the the mast earlier in the year. So it's obviously tied down both ends, and as you can see at the moment, the uh, the shrouds are left on. How are taken off? and the shrouds I have cable tied uh, to the mast. In fact, I'm going to apply uh, a, a couple more cause, because the shrouds are a little bit slack uh, at the forward end and I don't want those rattling around. So that's the mast. So uh, second stage, let's look at the uh, inside storage, uh, particularly the loose gear. So firstly, the uh, rudder, so that's the rudder cheek assembly uh, and the blade have gone forward in the boat and that seems to be at the moment the best place uh, I can find to stow them. I did think about carrying them in the car uh, for, for other reasons but at the moment yeah, they're in the boat. Also in front of the boat uh, at the moment uh, I've slowly added more of the uh, loose gear sets to the two tillers uh, and, and the gaff and um, when I sort of finalise how and where they're going to go I'm going to pad them out somehow and, and, and tie them all together. Uh, the other thing to notice with the uh, stowage is heavy stuff is tied down so both anchors are now uh, lashed securely into the boat um, and one of the big features of the boat I'm, uh, I built into the boat which is non-standard is this uh, off-centre uh, centreboard uh, with these two large stowage bins uh, to port. Uh, what I've done at the moment is I've used one of them for the uh, anchor rope bags, there's two of those uh, there in the bottom and I've put the uh, halyards uh, in there and any uh, loose lines in there as well and the forward one at the moment I'm reserving for hard stuff so the mass pivot bolt, the spare bolts for the trailer and any spare bolts for the boat are going in there. The, the gas container is going to go in there because I want to take things like uh, the stove and you know, mugs and, and coffee uh, for, for while I'm working as well. Um, but at the moment that's the uh, inside storage kind of dealt with. Right, well, uh, good morning everyone. It's uh, day three of filming. And uh, I just need to just push the boat out uh, into the uh, into the drive a bit, and I just wanted to do uh, a quick overview of the uh, outside of the trailer, and that's things like the uh, tie down points, the electrics, 
uh, and a draw bar which um, I, I only finished last week and um, sun's just coming out had breakfast so it's a good day so uh, a little bit of detail uh, the light board is on obviously just covered up the, the um, number plate for now the electrics are uh, cable tied and taped all the way along uh, the side of the trailer the aft um, strap is on that's uh, not quite hardened down we'll be in a, in a moment and maybe in view just move the camera a tiny bit you can probably just see uh, the the docking arm which helps me land uh, the boat on the trailer when we recover um, has a piece of PVC pipe and some uh, the pad uh, for the uh, gunnel to uh, sit up against so the kind of the back of the boat is kind of ready um, probably in this view you might be able to see one of the uh, support pads and um, oh, me. one of the uh, really important points of detail it's all about detail is to take a couple of shocks with us so that um, we don't have the trailer running away you know at the head of the slipway it could be a bit embarrassing so yeah chocks are going with the boat so uh, down at the front end uh, the the front strap which is probably the really important one it is shackled on the opposite side, left side or port side. Uh, comes over the uh, foredeck up against the cabin and tabernacle and comes down to a, a simple lashing to a, a hard point on the trailer this side. And the purpose of this having an aft lead, if you can see it, is to act as um, almost like a spring on a, a moored boat in that it would prevent, I hope, any, any uh, tendency for the trailer the boat to slide forward on the trailer say during heavy braking and it's a it's a two-ton strap so it's way way over strength it's much stronger than the uh, ratchet strap at the back uh, and here uh, at the front of the boat again is the uh, drawbar tongue for extension bar which is stowed underneath the boat and it's secured to the uh, the trailer frame inside just with these uh, a 600 millimeter cable ties, eight millimeter cable ties, they're enormously strong. And so that's that's on just needs tightening down. And um, in fact, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it off for a moment and just show you the uh, the mounted position. So 